So once you have created your model to scale, and when I say to scale, you should have already worked out all of your design and everything, whatever it is, and then when you're creating it in SketchUp, you do so by using the measurements tab. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle again, click and drag, and I'm gonna hit tab to get into my rectangle tool, and I'm gonna hit 4,000, 8,000, and it's created my rectangle to scale. I'm then going to pull it up. Okay, and I'm gonna type 2,000. And just to add a bit of interest to make this video a bit easier to understand, I'm going to just delete these circles here. Okay, so imagine this is my design or this is my product, okay, and it's to scale. Now, what I wanna do is I want to get ready to take some pictures of this and make it big enough for my clients to see. All right, so we can do that in several ways. We can zoom in, okay, or what we can do is that we can actually increase the scale of our object, whatever it may be, um, just to make it a little bit easier to see. This applies to things that you download from the 3D Warehouse as well. You can change their scale. All right, so what I can do is I'm going to, first of all, make this model into a group. So click and drag over it to select it all and edit, make group. And I'm going to scale it. So I'm gonna say, click S on my keyboard and that brings me into the scale tool. So you can see here that I've got yellow lines with a series of green cubes. Now all of these green cubes reach across different parts of my model. So if I want to make it wider, okay, I can. Um, by clicking straight through the middle. I can make it taller by clicking straight through the middle vertically, okay? I could make it bigger on an angle, all right? Smaller on different angles. So there are lots of things that I can do to make my model easier to see, okay? And manipulate it in different ways. Now, when you're doing this, I would always recommend that you have, if you're creating the product from scratch, that you have keep a copy of the original to scale okay just so that you've always got it there to refer back to okay if you have say for example a chair or a lounge or something like that that you want to scale I would recommend that you draw a line the height that you want it to be and then you have a reference so you can scale it to that line okay so say for example I wanted this cube or this product to be this size, what I can do is I can move it to the line that I have created and then I can scale it through to the end of that line, okay? And it just makes it a little bit easier for you guys. So it's up to you. You can zoom in, zoom out, you could scale it as well, just to make it a little bit easier for your clients to see. Now when you're presenting anything to a client, it's always a really good idea to have a series of different views. And the best way to get those views is by using your standard view tab at the top of your screen. So remember it's a little house. So you always want a plan view, so looking down from the top. And then you want your four elevations, which are your four different side views. And then it's always good to have two perspectives or isometric views, okay? So you could have one from this side, and then you could use your orbit tool to move around and take another view from this side. Now, to make sure that we can save those views, we remember that we go File, Export, 2D Graphic, and we can save what we see on the screen now as a JPEG, okay? So this, obviously, I think I might wanna zoom in a bit more, make it nice and big on my screen so my clients would be able to see it. I'm gonna click View, export 2D graphic in my documents and I'm going to save a JPEG as rectangular prism ISO. Okay, so a rectangular prism isometric view. And I'm going to click export. And that is how I can get all of my pictures, okay, together. And then I can put them together in a presentation in whatever format I want. Thanks, guys.